far cry. Howdy. <laughs> and we're live. All right. Welcome, 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 everyone. Happy Giving Tuesday. My name is Chad Bernstein, your proud CEO and co-founder of Guitars Over Guns. Uh, for those of you joining us for the first time, we are a 501c3. We are a nonprofit organization that is serving youth in Miami and Chicago and now a little bit in LA. Um, but we are uh, mentoring youth through music and transformative mentoring relationships with professional musicians. And it's a really incredible opportunity for us as a musical community to pay for the opportunities that we've had uh, for the transformative power of music in our lives to the next generation uh, in ways to help uh, those coming behind us uh, in the same way that music has helped us to overcome the things in our lives. So we're really thrilled to be with you here on Giving Tuesday. Uh, this is our first Real Giving Tuesday initiative led by our Chicago team. Big shout out to Miss Olivia uh, for running things here. Um, but the first thing I'm going to ask you to do today, because we have such incredible talent and so many incredible voices for you to hear from, is to share this live stream. So if you all are on Facebook, please go ahead and click share. Let's get this to as many people as possible so we can all enjoy the incredible performances today. And while we're doing that, I'd like to thank our lead partners, Savage Content, Cassell and & Cassell, and Genstone Realty, as well as our kind of marquee Giving Tuesday partner, Sweetwater Sounds. Um, they have been an amazing initiator of our Giving Tuesday um, efforts here. And uh, I want to specifically shout out Camille Hunter from Sweetwater, who's joining us online today. Um, but again, a big shout out to our Chicago team, to Olivia for giving uh, the Giving Tuesday campaigns and the efforts. Uh, we're going to drop those links on the screen. And I uh, also want to shout out our mentors, Heart Cry and Real, for their participation in today's conversation. And finally, I want to say thanks to the MacArthur Foundation. We just recently received a really incredible honor. It's the MacArthur Staff Award. Big thanks to Sarah Moss for the nomination. Um, but this is a really prestigious uh, award from one of the marquee foundations uh, in the country, but certainly in Chicago. And uh, I wanna introduce somebody to you now who is uh, somebody I'm so proud and honored to work with and is such an incredible leader in the Chicago community and certainly in the Guitars Over Guns community. And that is Mr. Ivy Focus. Ivy, how you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing great. Another great day to be great. How you doing, Chad? I'm doing well. What was the uh, uh, the impact of the um, MacArthur Award for you, and what was the vibe in Chicago upon receiving that? I know you were in the room when we when we were uh, awarded that. I mean, it was a, it was a beautiful thing. First and foremost, fifty thousand dollars. We we can do so much with that in the Chicago region. Um, it was definitely a prestigious award. And just the impact for that is just to put all of our mentors in a position to do what they love to do. And that's to impact these children. That's uh, to you know uplift them and and find that spark within all of them. So we've seen that in ourselves, and we want to give that back. It's a labor of love. So uh, it's definitely truly a blessing to be a part of this organization, Guitars Over Guns. Um, if anybody, uh, just to reintroduce myself, I'm Dominic Pettis Hill. Everybody knows me as IB. Um, I've, I joined Guitars Over Guns in 2018. Uh, as a, a mentor and a site coordinator, and now I'm the after-school programs manager for all the middle school sites here in the Chicago region. And um, just with that impact, I've seen that impact even in just uh, building for this Chicago music video that we're going to be revealing in a short period of time after these interviews, and just seeing these students um, put in the time and the work, seeing these mentors build these one-on-one -on -one bonds with each one of them is just, uh, it, it was impactful for me just to lead the project and to uh, kind of get the insight of how all of these different sites are unique, but they all have a common bond. And so um, I think that that will be revealed in the Chicago music video. But before we get to the Chicago music video, we have to introduce the ones that once was a mentee and now is a mentor today. Yeah. And so, so right now, I would like to introduce everybody to Heart Cry. And before she speaks, let's roll that tape. My name is Heart Cry. I am from the south side of Chicago. I am 18 years old and I attend Chicago Military Academy Bronzeville. Going back to the first day 
I kind of felt out of place because it was a room full of people who rapped or did some type of musical form and I did none of that. I was just like a cute little creative writer. I wasn't necessarily a poet at that time. I was just like a kid who just liked writing. So my first day will probably be figuring out where I stand in the class. I have to say all of my mentors, they were pushing really hard for me to become this big person that I didn't feel like I had inside of me, but in reality, I really did. They pushed me, they motivated me, and that was something I really take with me with every performance I have, and I'm grateful for that moment. For me, my story is a very, very long poem. Um, I've had ups and downs, twists and turns, all types of things. So one thing I can say about that is my story is a complex mixture that is not easily told. So my goal is to create poems that are able to give out like little sections of me in each piece. And I have the goal of creating every poem, not just for me to tell my story, but also for others to relate to my story. I hope that GoGo stays strong. I hope that I can stay connected, maybe come back as a mentor. Um, I just really hope that throughout the entire process of me moving and changing and evolving that I can stay connected with GoGo because this, I feel like this is my true home. It's where I actually started and where I actually stand strongly. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. Maya Hart Cry Scott is a poet from the South Side of Chicago, a Guitars of a Guns OG, a proud alumni of Beethoven Elementary School class of 2017, and most recently Chicago Military, Military Academy Bronzeville class of 2021. She has performed at the Knickerbocker Theater of Michigan Avenue, the DuSable Museum for the Obama Foundation's virtual convening in December 2020. Her poem, Liberate, is featured in the Chicago music video that will premiere later on in this program. She stayed involved in the go-go during the pandemic in virtual programs with her original mentors, Pinky Ring and Add Two, shout out to them. And this fall became the first alumni of a middle school program in Chicago to become a paid mentor in our staff. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the legend, Heart Cry. Make some noise, everybody. Come on, make some noise, make some noise for her. Let's go. go! Thank you, thank you. Hi, everyone. Hey, um, hey, hey! How you feeling, Heart Cry? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, arguing with my birds, y'all might hear him, hear them in the background. Um, but I promise you, they're fine. Hey, they, they cool. They cool with us. They could join the party. So, um, so what? I got a couple of questions for you, just so everybody could dig a little deeper into your story. I don't know what's going on. You know, now that. You are a mentor, and once you was a mentor, I mean, mentee, you was a mentee, now you're a mentor. What was the transitioning of that? How could you explain that transition of being in the GoGo program, kind of coming up the, uh, you know, up the pipeline of just seeing all of these different mentors that's been with you, and now you're in that position where you're now with the mentee? Oh, my God. It's been very, very interesting. Um, You know, over, the, over time, I've been like, this is what I want to do. I want to prepare myself the best way I can for this. And nothing I did could have prepared me for this. <laughs> um, no matter countless conversations or things like that, every day is something new. Um, every day is something new. It's a different challenge. It's an unfold of story, you know. And I must say, how long was I on the program for? I think like four or five years. I admire my mentors for all the work they did and things like that because, you know, as a mentee, you see as I walk in this classroom and I'm gonna try to do my best, but it is what it is. And, you know, we're gonna work with it. And in a, now seeing from a mentor's um, perspective, it's, it's quite interesting. It's not always, it is what it is. It's more of, what can I do to make this better? What can I do to work harder? What can I do to make this person engage more? And, you know, once again, you got to take everything day by day. And it's really cool. I, I truly think your story is legendary just for this organization. 
um, just to see you uh, come from a, men a mentee being a mentor. And I know that a lot of people don't know, but you're actually at the middle school site that you graduated from. Yes. Just tell us like how special that is that you get to see it just come full circle in your journey. So this is crazy. So um, the meeting, the room that we meet up in is across the hall from which I taught it. I was taught in. Wow. And then the classroom that we're in now that we teach in is actually my eighth grade homeroom. <laughs> so it's like, I remember my eighth grade teacher sitting there yelling at us because we wouldn't write our papers, but I'll be done and I'll just be taking a nap or um, being the kid that really wasn't um, engaged necessarily because I didn't feel like I fit in, but finding out that I fit in just differently across the hall, is just like, that's crazy. I remember running up and down the stairs and making excuses to go in the hallway and things like that. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's, I mean, I love it. I love it. And you know what? I know that you share the same sentiments as far as like how great this culture is for Guitars Over Guns. And today is Giving Tuesday. Why should people contribute to Guitars Over Guns today on this Giving Tuesday? It's so many good reasons. For one, our students, oh my God, our mentees, they are amazing. They are individuals with all different types of stories and different ways they want to express their own stories it's a whole lot <laughs> whether they're trying to put it in a book um put it out on internet or something like that it's all different types of things that we're trying to do um to wait was that one i think that was a whole lot of one Hold on, i'm discounting but you know what it is what it is <laughs> it's all good it's all good um, another reason why is you know we do so much and not just as mentors also seeing the mentees come into classrooms and sometimes they're having a bad day and like the pack of fruit snacks actually help out. And then the, the conversation, the things you can talk over a piece of candy or a bag of chips and conversations and keep it stepping. Even Jeremiah knows this, the conversations over Uno. <laughs> the Uno <laughs> conversations hit different. Um, you know, it's different things that, that we do and different challenges that we face every single day that Giving Tuesday will help us eliminate, you know, it's a whole lot, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of layers. And, you know, I, I don't think if, uh, I think anybody that hears your story right now, they should be inspired to donate and contribute. So if you are watching right now, me speaking to this legend that's before me right now, look at the link on the screen. Make sure that you donate right now. Um, I want you to give a shout out to some of the mentors that brought you to this point. Who are they and what role are they playing in your life still to this day? All right. So you have Pinky. Pinky Ring, um, she is actually still one of my teachers right now, one of my mentors right now. Um, I, actually get to, I have the pleasure to work with her later on today. But Pinky, I, I said this because I have a mentor of every ethnicity, and it's really dope because um, I get the different points of view. And also, I have mentors for different reasons. Oh, really? Huh? It's like the birds trying to get in the interview. Don't worry, don't worry. They gotta get they know my story in. better than I do at this point. <laughs> but um, yeah, Pinky, she's more of my spiritual, but like low key hood mentor. That's gonna, she's gonna keep it real with you. But on a spiritual level, um, she's lovely. I have Ad too. He is lovely as well. He's a more laid back mentor, just like chill. But he's gonna speak to you the real stuff. Then my mentor that I call 24 seven at every single life inconvenience is Andrew DeMille. He never takes credit of being one of my mentors. I don't know if he don't like me like that or I don't know what that is, but you know. I call him for every single, anything that goes wrong, I'm calling it. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. I mean, the fact that, the fact that you have those two legends, those three legends, I should say, and they mentor you, that just shows that you are going to turn into that legend as you already are today. You're going to just grow more and more. So, you know, you're cut from that cloth. I can already oh, Definitely. See. And then like, also I learned like recently that my mentors actually hold high places in today's society. And it was like, where was this information like two, three years ago? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I wasn't told about none of this. 
So it's really cool. No doubt. So I think we need to bless the people with a little bit more of what you do best. So let us know what are you performing and why are you performing this piece for us today? Um, I'm actually going to perform a piece called To the Queens. I'm performing this piece because I actually had an interaction this morning. I was like, I was thinking about yesterday. I was like, I'm going to perform a piece. I'm going to do To the Queens, but I don't have a reason why. But this morning I was taking my siblings to school and it was this guy talking down to this um, little girl. He was like, yo, we can't do that. And so pretty much just me being me I was like no hold your head up we're, we're not doing that leave her alone we're not doing that we're gonna hold our head up and I'm gonna take you to school I'm gonna take you to school on the way to school we had a very lovely conversation um she doesn't live too far from where I live and all different types of things she's also a musician and different stuff like that I'm... really <laughs> but she's a musician and all different types of things and it's lovely um she has two songs out and stuff like that and like this little girl isn't nothing but I, every ounce of foil it looks like um i can't wait to see her later on today so i can keep our conversation going and maybe even introduce her into gogo -Go. you know that's something i really love to do and yeah but today i'm doing to the queens because you know that woman empowerment that's that sister support is very much needed well, I think we're ready for you to take us to school. So I'm going to give you the floor. <laughs> to the queens who lost their hearts. To the queens who lost their voice. To the queens who lost their lives. You deserve the world. Beautiful queens to be. Blessings amongst the stars. King should kneel upon your name is the pride that your name carries that shall be written in her storybook, not history. It takes a true queen, a true queen that can write our chapters and the hooks from dusk to dawn. It takes your name to show that you rule this. The future is woman. The future is queen. The future has always been sisters. There'll be multiple queens. This ain't no Nikki and Cardi B, no Courtney and Kim, or no Megan and Kate, okay? Instead of fighting, we must start back building. Lizzo, Michelle, Rihanna, Amanda, sound familiar? But by brick, by name, by change. You can educate individuals, but when you educate what, it's when you educate entire families, villages, queendoms. The power is never given to you. You must possess the power in which always belongs to us, my sisters. Queens, we must rise. We must rise and take on thrones that always belong to us. A queen is never afraid to fail. No, not at all. No, because failure in her eyes is only another stepping stone along the road of greatness. Queens put in the hard work and forget about the changes in these boys, I mean kings, and their decisions. I mean, it's time to take our caps or crowns, take on thrones that always belong to us. My sisters, we must rise. For he needs she, not she need he, because we are the world. A gentleman will always tell you, ladies first, Always correct him. Always, always correct him. It's queens first. Always. But my sister, I have a question. When are you gonna start putting yourself? No, nope, no, nope. I don't like that one. When are you gonna start putting other queens first? Your mom, your sister, your best friend. It's time that we. Stop putting queens first. Thank you. From the queen herself, ladies and gentlemen, Amaya Heart Cry Scott. Yes, thank you so much, Heart Cry. I'm I'm a fan of yours. Keep doing the great work that you're doing, and I'm gonna pass it to Chat. What's that for? Man, I I won't even try and follow that with anything, Heart Cry. You are absolutely incredible, and I love so much of what you write. And I love that every time I hear something that you write, if I've heard it more than once, I always hear something new. 
uh, not only in your performance, but just in how much is baked into the layers of your words. And uh, the thing that I'm taking away from it today is how important it is to celebrate failure. Um, and it's something that's been on my heart and on my mind a lot lately, um, because the only way that we grow is if we fail and if we're willing to fail. And uh, if we're not, we're probably not trying hard enough. So thank you for that. Thank you for blessing all of us with that. You are a queen amongst queens, and it is an honor to have you working and, and bringing along the next generation of young leaders into, uh, into the fold. So thank you so much. You're incredible. And I want to introduce another incredible artist as well. Um, I have to say the first time I really, really heard this individual, we were getting ready for our annual fundraiser, um, which was a virtual fundraiser. This was over a year ago. And Andrew sent me the recordings of this live performance that they did with a handful of mentors in Chicago. And I didn't know who was who. And I, you know, I, I've heard most of our mentors perform, but man, there was this voice. And I called Andrew and I was like, who is singing this song? Like, I, I don't, I have no idea who this is. The, their voice is totally unique. It's, it's literally like butter. It is the sound of butter. And he wouldn't tell me. Uh, and, and eventually, you know, I figured it out. And I didn't even know beyond all the other things that this individual does, uh, playing drums, rapping, producing, that he sings the way that he sings. So it is my total pleasure to introduce the songwriter, the producer, the individual that uses his talents to educate, entertain, and better his Southside community. Uh, Mr. Real, where are you at, bro? All right, grace and peace, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. How are you doing today? I'm feeling blessed, man. I'm glad to be here. Uh, glad to see another day and do something, you know, different. Do something towards the future. So tell the world a little bit about Haven and the Haven Ballroom community and how you came to Guitars Over Guns. Ah, uh, man. Uh, Haven is a free studio based on the south side of Chicago. Um, I actually got introduced to it by one of Ad 2's mentees who was going to the same college as me. So by this time, I'm already in college. Uh, I was attending Kennedy King and Malcolm X at the time, pursuing a completely different career. Um, in the meantime, people that I knew from the school, they uh, some people did community work, and it's something that I've always loved to be a part of. And I already was uh, volunteering my time teaching a few different at a few different programs, doing pop up lessons about digital production. I meet uh, one of Ad Tools mentees, Braxton Washington, which is an amazing cinematographer, a great guy. Oh, gee. And, and he tells me, yeah, he was one of Ad's first mentees over at the studio. And he tells me about this free studio. And I'm not going to hold y'all. See, it sounded a little sketchy to me because <laughs> um, I'm like a free studio. Like in all my experience, I know that studios cost money. So I was like, I don't know. But I got tired of trying to record new things at home. Uh, and in between school and home, I just needed a place where I could just like really go. And I didn't have a studio home at the time. So took a leap of faith and I met Ad 2 and that moment changed my life. Uh, Ad 2 is, is more than a mentor to me. He's an older brother. He's a, uh, just an all around figure of what it means to me to be a, uh, a successful black man in America. So that was a blessing in disguise um and eventually you know i continued to come and then i met andrew and everything and got introduced to the rest of you beautiful people and now i'm here i love it man and i think one of the things that people may not know is in addition to all of the incredible musical talents and skills that you have you actually also teach cinematography um can you talk a little bit about that and then i want to roll into the video of you singing here. Maybe you can tell us what that's about. Uh, on the cinema side, so I, I'm a creative in general. I don't just like to limit myself to just being an artist or this, that, or the third. I'm a creative. And I wouldn't be the, the musician, engineer, producer, anything like that without Ad Two's partner, Dennis Thompson. He is also another lifelong mentor for me. 
uh, and he taught me more about uh, photography and cinematography. And I've had the, the honor of working with him on multiple gigs uh, and just being a part of his, uh, his company as well. And it's, it's changed my life um, dramatically. And I use that to also help teach uh, high school students over at Kentwood with Zaria Evans, who is another amazing mentee slash mentor. She's an amazing photographer that I've had the pleasure of meeting through Haven. And yeah, just all of those elements combined help to keep our solar system spinning personally and continue to influence the lives of others who are looking to learn, looking to expand what they know. Yeah, big shout out to Z, big shout out to Dennis and Creative Jacks, big shout out to Ad, big shout out, shout out to the Haven community. Uh, what is, actually, I think, well, go ahead and tell us what we're going to hear. And, and I will let people know that this was the, this was the butter that hit my ears for the first time that had me wondering who this individual was on the mic. All right, so for all y'all listening at home, uh, like I said, I'm real. That stands for ready and enlightened that life when I rap and ready and enlightened that love when I sing. This is an original piece called Ain't No Going Outside Today. Uh, it just gives you a, a brief look into my uh, my coming up experience. Uh, I play with some amazing musicians. And yeah, I'm going to let y'all watch it first and we're going to talk about it after. Cool. So please enjoy One, two, three, hit. Oh, yeah, I like that. Woo. My name is Real. Hell, I'm from the south side of Chicago. Representing guitars over guns. Choose your own sound. And uh, I'm just going to spit a little something nice for y'all, something real smooth. So just go ahead and lay back. And let me actually, let me tell you something that my mama told me. She said, Ain't no going outside today. Ain't no going outside today. It ain't no going outside today. Boy, you better stay inside. Uh. She said it ain't no going outside today. It ain't no going outside today. Ain't no going outside today. You better stay inside. Listen. Mama cries every time I go outside. Fear of police brutality, muggers and drive-bys. My mortal mind adapted to this urban wilderness where nameless bullets connect, regardless of hood respect. Fatalities are the norm. Good kids conform to wickedness. Seeds are planted monthly, but farmers don't want the benefits. Guardians mess with citizens, victimizing pedestrians. Sometimes I ask why, still trying to find the reasoning. Lord have mercy, I know the devil is lurking. Life is brutal with the lessons. You saw nothing, keep it stepping. Lord knows, have mercy on my soul. Thoughts of possessing the firearm at seven years old. These are the breaks, the choices we choose to make. Gather flowers while you may, or watch out for them snakes. Huh? Ain't no going outside today. You never know when it's gonna be your last time to play. She said, going outside today. It ain't no going outside today. Ain't no going outside today. Boy, you better stay inside. Mm. She said it ain't no going outside today. Ain't no going outside today. Ain't no going outside today. Let me talk to y'all real quick. Now, I can just remember a time growing up over East in the late 90s and the early 2000s. It was pretty rough, man. It was really rough where I grew up at, actually. But um, I never used to get it. My mom would tell me, oh, no, you can't go out today. Oh, no, no, you can't play with your friends today. No, no, you can't go visit your cousins today. And I, I just never understood why. And growing older, you start to realize the way that the world is and how it works. But it's really hard to capture that in your innocent mind as a child. So, man, just the thing that helped me to get over those certain hurdles was music, right? I chose my own sound. And, ah, uh, Dex, man, I'm, I'm loving that bass. Can you give me a little bit more? Oh, uh, yeah. See, it'll be like those type of riffs and runs and them grooves that just help me to get over these hurdles in my life, man. And I really start getting invested in it. And my father is a musician. And, oh, man, Derek, I'm digging them drums, man. Oh, uh, uh, they speaking something to me. Can y'all hear that? Y'all get that little bounce, that groove that's going on. 
So I would use music and actually walk in on the keys. Can I get a little bit of this? Oh, man. See, my dad had a keyboard and I just hop over there as soon as he was gone or he was at work and I was inside. I ain't had nothing better to do, so I just used to bang on the keys and everything. And I sounded like this to myself, but in reality, I'm pretty sure I did not sound like that. Oh, man. But it just really helped me to elevate my mind and to escape my reality. And it just really, like, took me to a whole nother place, and I'm, I'm so glad for music. And this kind of reminds me of some things that the old folks would say, man. Uh, they said, this world is filled with love and gaze. Man. Lord, please help me navigate. Mama, mama, don't you cry. Your baby boy is going to be all right. Jesus, take the wheel. The block is on fire. so good that's so good how's it feel to watch that man oh uh, man it's uh it's a great feeling you know that was uh still one of my favorite performances i've ever done to this day it was just great the music was great um the musicians that i was playing with and working with that day amazing people it's just, i just had a blast man all fellow mentors and guitars over guns too yep man one of the things that uh I love the uh, the kind of the, the last part of that song. Um, we're talking about the world is filled with love and hate, and and some of the lyrics in your verse, you know, literally balancing like, you know, the innocence of childhood and the reality of the world. What advice do you have to your students um, that are navigating that? Um, on the cliche side listen to your parents right because they've been around longer and they know more and it's kind of hard to grasp when you're a child because you're like well the world is continued to develop and they're old i'm young i'm new in a sense so it's like being up with trends but wisdom will take you a long way um and on the other side of that is just to always be aware of your surroundings and take every day as an opportunity to do better or to be better, right? We try to better ourselves by going to school. Uh, we better ourselves by uh, working towards goals that we have, you know, whatever it is, even if it might seem like it's on a micro scale, something that's on a micro scale to you could be on a macro scale to somebody else. So never take the little things for granted. And yeah, whatever it is that you love, something that really speaks to you as a person, as an individual, don't just let it, you know, be squandered somewhere off in the corner, like build on to that. Give that the same energy that you do other things, other people, other tasks in life, because you never know where it can take you. I love that, man. And your path, you know, has been uh, one that's gone a bunch of different directions that may not have felt like what you set out for in the moment, but has obviously blessed you and so many people around you in such a profound way. Um, maybe you can leave us with why you think people should 
um, contribute to Guitars Over Guns today on Giving Tuesday in this moment? Giving Tuesday, one, is a blessing to give. So never overlook giving because whenever you have an opportunity to give, you have the opportunity to change reality. Um, two, kids are going to be kids, right? Every kid is different, but there's one common thing that they all have, and that is a life. And they deserve to live that life safe, they deserve to live that life and have free reign to explore and to learn. So one of the best ways to do that is to encourage the gifts and the natural talents that they already have. Uh, giving to this organization will continue to keep the doors open to more learning, more experiences uh, in uh, life and the passion of what they do, the arts, all of that. So we need to continue to give these opportunities to these kids. And to do that, it's going to take a little change. <laughs> Man, that was so good. I, I literally had to write down what you said. Every time you have the opportunity to give, you have the opportunity to change reality. Um, man, it is such a blessing to hear from you, to talk with you, to see you. Uh, thank you for sharing your wisdom and your music with us. Thank you. It's always a blessing and an honor to be here. All right, man. And I want to turn it over back to IB and give some serious love to a couple people. One, Ebony Howard, who's out there uh, joining us from, uh, she is a board member. She is a, an incredible advocate of arts-based youth development with, the, uh, with, with MIDA and with the Elma Foundation. So much love to Ebony. Thank you for being a champion for us. Um, and I also want to give some serious, serious love to Dennis Thompson, who shot that and who shot the music video. And I'm hoping that IB can come back on and bring us a little bit more into that process as well. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. First and foremost, I'm going to tell you all again, those that are watching, you see that link on your screen. You need to donate now and support this movement. Um, thanks, Chad. Thanks, uh, Real. Um, what you said, Real, was real. And I can relate to everything that you stated. And it's really reflective on when I think about the process of putting together this music video with all the sites. Um, it, it, it was just um, truly a blessing to see everybody come together during the time that we did it. We did it during a pandemic. I'm gonna tell y'all this again. We did it during a pandemic. When we had our last, uh, when we had our last music video, um, we was able to be amongst each other. We was able to do what we normally did but this time it wasn't so normal you know we had to be virtual mentors had to adapt to uh be on screen and still try to uh bring that fire out of the students and they worked so hard and diligently to try to come up with creative ways of how they could still get that done and not be in the classroom with the students and so when i reflect back on that just to see the progress that we made during the challenges and the obstacles that we got over it is truly, truly a testament to the endurance of those students, the endurance of the mentors, and endurance of what Guitars Over Guns represents. And so I want to give a quick shout out again to Dennis. Dennis worked really, really hard with his team, his Haver Cinema team, and that was also Jeremiah and Zaria that was working closely with him to shoot it. Um, I want to give a big shout out to all of the mentors in the Chicago region that dedicated their time to really, really bring out the best out of the mentees. And the biggest, biggest honors and shout out goes to the mentees, mentees that come from Beethoven Elementary, CICS Lloyd Bond Charter School, Evergreen Academy Middle School, William P. Nixon Elementary, Berto Clemente Community Academy, and Haven Studios for their preparation and participation in this massive region-wide online project. What this project, what this video means to us is a lot of just what we can overcome if we believe in each other. And if we put in that work with each other and we really believe in these youth, because the youth is our future. As you've seen the tag, it says, yesterday's mentee, mentee is today's mentor. And a lot of those mentees might be mentors one day. And so we have to set the example and be the example that we bring. And I think that is no better way but to premiere this video, which we have entitled Bounce Back. This is the way that we've bounced back. And we're going to continue to bounce back no matter what challenges we face. So I think it's about that time to roll the tape. Ladies and gentlemen, bounce back.
Let me tell you a little bit about love. And in many ways, it has liberated my soul from the broken tales that I've been told. Let me tell you about the broken chapter titled 2020 with its many twists and turns. The moments where it's cool and then it burns the year that should have been a music. But end it being the year of confusion. How many of you felt that way? How many of you felt as if your hands were tied, you missed outside, or 2020 should have came with a guide? Full of face masks, tissue, hashtags, mistries, deadlines, and hurt times. Tell me about it. For being in the front lines for black lives, or protests without the rest, even with COVID and its fatalities taken in its lives as you see it. We shouldn't have to fear the outside. But that's what the world has turned to. Us being mask wearing, protest wearing, love liberating, deadline chasing, hashtag correcting, sun set missing souls. Let me paint you a picture that gives you a little bit of a mixture of who we are and what we can be. Creator, but 2020 was hating. I say for later, but yeah, I'm so amazing. And they hating future vision and they make it get it by any means. You know why I'm here? I gotta represent the team. Body seeing dream, chasing, we chasing the dream. I'ma chase it till you see me in a magazine. I'm blowing up like gasoline. I got your team at the metaphor. I'm super hype, no caffeine. I'm so sick and I'm not taking a vaccine. Now who gon' bounce back? I'm just asking. I got passion. I just started, but I'm still surpassing. Close cap. Like a bird feeling About a time when we get to see the sun rise and set of each day, not running back because we left a mask on the table, not worried because of a virus that has changed our mindset, not in trouble because of the color of our skin is not accepted. A beautiful time, right? Only if we could capture it. 
like a picture that everyone could sign. You see, although we are not the same, that is okay. I promise it's okay. I cannot see your problems eye to eye with you, but that is okay too. I can hold your hand and listen to your stories and you can listen to mine. We hold common grounds. We all can liberate each other. And that there, that there is one story we've written together. Everybody make some noise for that. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. That's what we do it for. That's what we do it for right there. That represents what we do it for. So if you're inspired by that, hey, support that. Support that. I'm going to pass it back to you, Chad. I, I don't know if you can, man. I don't even have the words right now. That is like, if you could, if you could take this last year and just put it in something to encapsulate the full experience that we would have forever to be able to look back on. I mean, I, like the joy, the hardship, the pain, the grief, the, the challenges, the obstacles, everything that was overcome, the resilience, just the connections, the things that, that maintained and withstood the storm, you know, like, and at the core of all of it, our youth that, that kept us and and for those of you out there that are watching whether you're a student in the program or whether you're you're looking in from the outside I, I don't think we can really describe how much strength the students gave us over the course of the pandemic and how much hope and how much motivation they were the source of um, for so many of us and while I collect my thoughts maybe <laughs> maybe you can just address that real quick um, and I'll get myself together and, and thank everyone and, and we can get out of here, but. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, this is what we do it for. Um, when, I, when I look at the story of, of, of Real, when I see the story of Heart Cry, they represent that, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I first joined Guitars Over Guns, it was like, I've, I've never joined a culture like this before with Guitars Over Guns. And it's not only just within the mentors, it's what's poured into the children. You know what I mean? And when we pour that into the children at the end of the day, kind of like what Real was pointing out, Real recognize Real, all pun intended. Real recognize Real because <laughs> these children are not going to give you a chance and a time and a day if you're not coming correct. And so you have to be authentic with them. If you're asking them to be authentic, you have to be authentic. So everyone that's looking at this, just know that this is real, it's authentic, and we're going to continue to do this no matter what. So I'm just, I'm just honored to be a part of this. Man, it is, uh, it is such an honor to work with you and to have you be a part of this. And, you know, culture is one of those things that culture isn't something you step into. Culture is something that you create with every 
with every action, intentional or not. And, uh, and you created as well as anyone. And I'm so honored that you're bringing it forward in such a powerful way. And uh, it's such a pleasure to work with you and such a pleasure to watch you lead in the Chicago region and, and to the entire Chicago team. So thank you, IB. Uh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, everyone working uh, on the Chicago team to really make this happen. Um, this has really been an incredible effort put forward. Um, I want to thank our special guests. I want to thank our Giving Tuesday champions. Uh, today is a 24-hour opportunity to really make the impact in the lives of young people, and you can support the work that you heard about and saw and felt and witnessed today uh, at that link, bit.ly slash all caps G-O-G-O -G -O underscore G-T for Giving Tuesday. Um, the link is on your screen. I want to thank today's partners, our lead partners, Savage Content, Cassell and Cassell and Jensen Realty, and a huge, huge thank you to Sweetwater Sounds for, uh, for, for kicking off Giving Tuesday and for being a long, long supporter of ours. The initial gear contribution um, that founded the, the kind of initial gear for, for Haven was um, a gift from the Steve Harvey show from Sweetwater uh, as a sponsor. So we've continued to uh, appreciate their partnership and, and their support. Uh, huge thanks to Olivia for putting all of this together. Huge thanks to Heart Cry for real, to the Chicago mentor team. Please do us a favor uh, and at the very least follow Guitars Over Guns on all platforms. Keep up with our next events uh, and make a contribution because every time you have the opportunity to give, you have the opportunity to change reality. And man, not, nothing, nothing hits harder than the words of, uh, of those that have been through it and are now on, on the other side of, um, of, of the screen these days, but you know, have been, been through the program, have been mentored and are now paying that forward uh, and bringing others along with them. And um, both Heart Cry and Real are the finest examples of what that looks like um, to take something, to make it your own and to pay it forward. So thank you all. It is an absolute pleasure and honor to work with and be in community with each of you. Happy Giving Tuesday. Go support some good stuff. Appreciate it and love y'all. Peace.